Thanks, Ryan, there at Brunton Park. Now to the Dumfrieshire artist capturing the plight of people from Ukraine. Now, war has, of course, provided artists with powerful subject matter throughout the centuries. And now, Manette Bell MacDonald has abandoned her normal landscape and wildlife painting to instead focus on Ukrainian refugees. And Fiona Armstrong has been to meet her. <laughs> It's nearly a year since the Russians invaded Ukraine, starting a bitter war with seemingly no end in sight. Homes are bombed, atrocities reported. It's led one Scottish artist to turn her talents to darker subjects. When I was doing this, I kept thinking about the people who had basically lost absolutely everything in their lives and their whole lives were turned upside down I kept trying to imagine what it was like for them and what it would be like if it happened to us here in the peaceful Dumfrieshire Hills Minette Bell MacDonald is making a statement about a conflict 2,000 miles away something hits you and you just have to do something about it they are a homage to the refugees. They're a homage to the people of Ukraine. The horses were as used in the First World War and in wars prior as animals of transport and for carrying people into battle. And people said how courageous they were, but actually they weren't. They were just running in fear because they were blinded and they were bolting. And when horses bolt, they'll go over a cliff. And that's why all the horses are blinkered and there's no eyes. They're carrying the refugees out, and the refugees or the people on the horses are painted in white, very flimsy clothing to basically symbolize their vulnerability. And they're all blindfolded, so they don't know where they're going either. Last year, Minette Bell MacDonald helped organize an aid collection to send to Eastern Europe. It took place here at the Ukrainian chapel near Lockerbie. This tiny church was built in the 1940s by Ukrainian prisoners of war. Over the years, it fell into disrepair. But now, with Ukraine firmly in the news, it's getting a new lease of life. How lovely to see you. And you too. Nice wow, to see you. I can't wait to see the inside. Okay, it's well, I think good. you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Oh my goodness me. What a change, Peter. You like it? Wow, that's amazing. Minette's come to see Peter Combilo. Peter has Ukrainian heritage and a keen interest in ensuring that this chapel survives. Not least because his father helped build it. And Min, while you're here, um, I, I want to thank you on behalf of uh, my trust uh, for those wonderful paintings that you've done uh, of the horses. What's symbolic about the horses and the riders of the horses is horses are all terrain vehicles, aren't they? They manage yes, to get across. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. And the desperation of the escape, uh, the riders looking back in despair you can just see the whole symbolism of your paintings and i just think they are so apt and you can see more on that story in tonight's border life viewers in scotland can watch it at seven o'clock on itv1 and it will be available on our website after that